Our Constitution provides for an office called Secretary of State. That's a full-time position with full-time pay and full-time benefits. Our Constitution also requires that our Secretary of State live in Montgomery. And that may not be a big deal to you, but that's what our Constitution requires. And I'm here to tell you today that our, our Secretary of State does not serve the people of Alabama full-time. At best, one to two days a week. And some people say, well, Scott, you're not supposed to get negative about things like that. I'm not negative, folks. I'm positive. I'm positive. It's on the back of my cards in black and white. If I wasn't positive that she wasn't providing us full-time service, I wouldn't be telling you. If I wasn't positive that our Constitution requires her to live in Montgomery, I wouldn't be telling you. But you see, when she put her left hand on the Bible and put her right hand in the air and swore to uphold her Constitution, uh, our Constitution, you and I entrusted her to uphold all of it. I'm here to tell you, if I can't trust you with the little things, I can't trust you with anything. As I said, the position is a full-time position. There is a group called the Court Appointed Specialty Advocates Group of uh, Shelby County. And it's a great organization that does good things. And I admire people for volunteering their service in that, uh, working for that agency. But our Secretary of State serves as the director of that agency in Shelby County. That's convenient for her to do, you see, since she lives in Shelby County and not in Montgomery where the Constitution, like the Constitution requires. The, um, our Secretary of State also runs a consulting firm. Once again, if I wasn't positive about that, I wouldn't tell you that. And you might ask, well, why is that important? One of the things that caught my attention about the Secretary of um, State's race two years ago was newspaper articles that I saw about ethics complaints. And one of the complaints was that our Secretary of State was writing checks out of her campaign funds to um, Beth Chapman and Associates a consulting firm, and her husband. Okay? Our ethics rules prohibit us from doing that. It's as simple as that. Now, she tried to brush it away and say that it was campaign expenses. Well, I'll ask you this. Why is it that this year, prior to one campaign expenditure, she wrote checks over $40,000 to both her consulting firm and her husband. Once again, I'm positive. We can't trust you with the little things. We can't trust you with anything. I can promise you that if I'm elected Secretary of State, when I'm elected Secretary of State, I will be closing down my law practice I will be serving the people of Alabama in a full-time capacity. And when I take an oath to my God and the people of Alabama, I will honor it. Not just when it's convenient for me, but at all times. I will work full-time as Secretary of State. I will honor my oath of office. I will live in Montgomery. The Constitution requires it. The people of Alabama deserve it. But simpler than that, it's the right thing to do.